Added to the list, yet another country has officially sworn itself off of the US dollar for good. The last couple instances of this action from other countries resulted in almost immediate, permanent repercussions. In this case here, we need to be very concerned as to how this will unfold. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today, we are going to look at what has happened to the US dollar. Let's begin. Iran bans the use of US dollar in trade. This is brand new information, and it is very important because it's not rhetoric. It's not talk. This is official. Previously, they said, we are going to go away from the US dollar. We are going to take these actions. But now they have officially made that step. Tehran has announced that purchase orders by merchants that are based on U.S. currency would no longer be allowed to go through import procedures. So an individual from the Central Bank of Iran made some statements. He explained, it wouldn't create major trouble for traders because the share of the greenback in Iran's trade activities was not high. It's been for a long time that Iran's banking sector cannot use the dollar as a result of the sanctions. Okay, As a part of the uh, trade embargo, U.S. banks are banned from dealing with Iran. So you can see here that it seems like Iran wasn't the one that wanted to change anything, even though the exchange rate was terrible and getting worse. They were fine with the way things were, but they didn't really have a choice in this case. They're pushed to the edge, and they have to make this decision to start using alternatives. Considering that the use of the dollar is banned for Iran and traders are literally using alternative currencies in their transactions, there is no longer any reason to proceed with invoices that use the US dollar as the base rate. So no longer will they see that dollar. Beside these forms, they are going to be able to use alternative currencies. And it makes sense. They've been slowly going away from the dollar as time goes on. They've been taking this action already. And not because, as I said, not because they wanted to, but simply because they didn't have another choice. And so they are now just making it very, very obvious that they want to go away, moving everybody off onto alternative currencies. So... I know most of you know this already, but there was a couple instances previously that didn't work out so well for the countries that decided to do away with the US dollar. One was Iraq, and the other was Libya. In both of these instances, they did away with the US dollar, and it happened very, very shortly after that an event took place. So we will see in the coming months if this changes anything. You know that Iran has already been in talks with China to do deals just between their two currencies, not using the US dollar, not using any sort of reserve currency, just doing deal between their own currencies. This is something that China has been doing with many countries, in fact. And so... This is obviously putting a dent into the U.S. dollar hegemony. Not going to happen overnight, even for a country like Iran. As I said, the exchange rate was becoming very, very horrible, and that affects the prices inside of their country. Remember that. Even though it's an exchange rate to the U.S. dollar, it affects everything. So it's uh, something that I believe will affect in a longer-term scenario. You will see more imports, more exports taking place to countries like China where they're free to do business. All right, 